Well, let's bring in uh, a man, GOP <laughs> congressman, Jim Jordan, who joins us now. Congressman, thanks for being here. Good to be with you. Uh, yeah, President down. Trump is real. He's not fake at all. I love what Rachel says. He's as real and genuine as it comes. And they're the party that, you know, uh, the borders are, can't so secure the border, the Inflation Reduction Act that actually caused in play. They're the party that's always faking it and winging it, not President Trump. He's as genuine as they come. And that's why I think, in your, in your first part, that's why I think you're seeing his support increase with Hispanic Americans, African Americans, maybe most importantly, all Americans. You're seeing his support increase because they know what, what we had when he was, when he was president. We, we, frankly, we have something we, we very seldom get in American politics. Back-to-back -back administrations now running for the top job, and you get a direct comparison. And we haven't had this in I don't know how long. So this is, and people are starting to look at four years of Trump versus what we've had with three and a half years of Biden-Harris, and they see the, the real difference. Well, Congressman, we're seeing a, a shift in strategy uh, from Democrats who were effectively running a bubble-wrapped campaign, not doing much media, and now Tim Walz is on Fox News Sunday again this weekend. They're doing press all over the place, although most of the time it's still very carefully curated, but they feel like they need yeah. to get out front. Why the change for them? Because they're losing. You can see even the polls are starting to just ever so slightly tick in President Trump's direction in all the swing states and the, and the states that they're focused on, you know, the so-called blue wall, Pennsylvania, Michigan, Wisconsin. President Trump just keeps inching up. And as we've seen in the, in the past two cycles, those polls typically underestimate where President Trump is in his support. And again, I think this is so clear. Under President Trump, we had a secure border. Under Biden-Harris, no border. Under President Trump, we had $2 gas. Under Biden-Harris, $4 gas. Under President Trump, we had safe streets. Under Biden-Harris, we've had record crime. And under President Trump, we had stable pricing. Under Harris, we've had record inflation. And I haven't even got into full policy, for goodness sake. So the, the American people are smart. They can see the difference. And again, I think that's why you see all Americans moving in President Trump's direction. And, and, and by the way, we're a new party now. We're now a populist party rooted in conservative principle. And President Trump has made that, that dynamic happen. And that is a good thing for our party. I think it's a good thing for the country. And that's why you're seeing new voters, working class people, middle class people being attracted to President Trump and his leadership. Well, Congressman, I want to ask you about this story. We covered it a week ago. It's a pretty concerning story about an Afghan refugee who was arrested as part of a plot to unveil an ISIS-like attack, perhaps in D.C., perhaps on Election Day. He's been arrested. Now we have information um, that he previously worked with the CIA. And because we worried about this, Congressman, like when yep. thousands of people were brought out of Afghanistan, were they all properly screened? What could their connections have been? Because, of course, we want to help those that helped us in Afghanistan. Are we making sure we're only bringing friendly people people mm. to America. What the latest news is he was screened three times before entering the United States. Yeah, I mean, th this is just sort of the natural thing that I think is going to happen when you look back at that debacle that was the exit from Afghanistan. I think we can all remember, I, I think it's sort of a metaphor for the Biden-Harris regime, which is that picture, that plane getting ready to take off and people actually trying to jump on the wheels of that plane. When you have that many people come in, you're, I think things like this are potentially going to happen. And then you couple it with the larger problem, over 10 million migrants entering the country in three and a half years, 99 on the terrorist watch list that we know about who were actually released into the country, not to mention the fact that they've lost track of all kinds, thousands and thousands of children, not to mention all the, 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 the criminals who get in and done terrible things. But this thing with Afghanistan, so many came in and you just know they weren't getting properly screened. No way. And of course, you have something like this where this guy was planning to do something terrible uh, on Election Day. No way. Absolutely. Well, Congressman Jim Jordan, thanks for joining us on Fox and Friends Thank Weekend. You, Great to see you. Thank you guys. Appreciate it. Thank you, Congressman. You